A large nodule occupies almost the entire right lobe. The nodule is composed of echinormal and deeply hypochoic parts. Although in contrast with the previous examinations, the cystic part is not anechoic, the deeply hypochoic portion obviously corresponds to cystic fluid as the fluid flow is well observed. The large protein content makes the cystic fluid oversaturated. This is a central type cyst showing signs of paranodular blood flow. The nodules in the left lobe remained unchanged. They present back wall figures caused by posterior enhancement. Now, the aspiration of 16 millilabor brown fluid is demonstrated. The thick component of the cystic fluid can be easily removed with the use of a 23 gauge needle. We tried to completely empty the cyst and it seemingly succeeded. However, just after the aspiration the cyst began to refill. Note the flow in the dorsal part of the nodule. Corresponding to that part of the nodule, relatively large vessels can be observed. A few minutes later, the nodule grew back to almost its original size.